How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Um, just going to look talk about the preview for tomorrow's game against Fulham. Um, it's a massive game for Liverpool now that they're turning attention to the league. The Europa League campaign is not over, but it's effectively done with into the next stages of the competition, qualifying for the last 16, which will be in March. So it's, you know, it's a long way off to see what happens there. Um, so our, now our full attention now is thrown to the league and I think this is the ideal fixture for Liverpool to really put a run of wins together so they can really make that, like bridge that gap. It's a two point gap now we'll have against the over it's behind Arsenal. I think we're one point behind City. We're all, we're all on the same level of points. Oh, sorry, not the same level. We've had the same level of games but Arsenal have 30 points, Man City have 29 points and Liverpool have 28 points. So now... Arsenal have won their group in the Champions League. City have won their group in the Champions League as well. We've won our group in, in the Europa League. So I think both three of those sort of teams that look as if, as of right now, are pretty much capable of winning the league with the setup they've got, have now pretty much taken care of their European matters for the new year and now going to really focus on the league. City and Arsenal don't have any League Cup games. Liverpool have a League Cup game against West Ham. Um, a few days before Christmas, so. But um, I think that's not that wouldn't be the main priority unless you you, you never know what could potentially unfold. So I think it's vitally important now for Liverpool to put a run of wins together, and this is the, the ideal fixture to do that. Um, we're up against Fulham. Fulham on their day can be a tough team to break down, and uh, you just not know what, what what's going to happen or what they'll turn up. They have cap they are capable of pulling up a few shock results here or there. You know, they've got good players like of William, who's been around the Premier League for a long time. Uh, Raul Jimenez, who is probably not the same player since his recovery or since his injury he got against Arsenal, I think it was nearly three years ago. But yet yeah, on his day, still very effective, can still score goals, you know, and uh, probably the ideal stuff got signing for one to replace Mitrovic who left for Saudi Arabia in the, in the summer. Hardy Wilson is very good in death ball situations. We know very well. He came from the Liverpool Academy, of course. Um, Palinia, I would say, is their best player who plays in defensive midfield. A player Liverpool should be should be trying to get if the opportunity hap if it's possible. You know, I know Liverpool will probably target players of a certain age from twenty to twenty four in that in that position. But if the Palinia deal opens up. Who knows? You know, he'd be the ideal replacement for Fabinho if we ever get get a chance to do that. Um, they have a settled squad, a settled manager, in Marco Silva. Um, had a bad couple of jobs in English football with the likes of Everton and Watford, but he's bounced back and found the right club. And uh, they look as if they're going places, and they look as if they're in a, a club that's in a solid foundation where they're going to be in the Premier League for years to come. So um, let's just talk about the start of eleven prediction. Uh, in golf, I've gone for Kelleher. Um, no surprises there. Obviously, Allison's out injured. Uh, I think we can trust Kelleher now for the next few games. Um, when he played the other night, he didn't put too much wrong. He made saves when he needed to make saves, which is what a goalkeeper is supposed to do. Um, and it's ideal for him to put himself, put himself in the shop window. Especially Liverpool looking to sell him in the, in the next few months. Whether it be in January or whether it be next summer. So, I think... Kelleher, no reason why he shouldn't start in his fixture to to replace the unit, Allison. Back four, Trent at right back, left back, Simakas, two centre backs, uh, Van Dijk and Matip. Van Dijk and Matip didn't play the other night, so they should be okay for this one. Trent only came on for 36 minutes against that, so he should be alright. Simakas had played over 70 minutes for, that, for the last game, so he should be okay to do the full 90 for this one. Um, so that would be the back four. Midfield three, I've, I've, this is the midfield three I want to see. McAllister, Gravenberch, Sobersoy. Three big signings we made in midfield that we needed to. I think this would be the ideal fixture for them to just click. Gravenberch for me deserves the opportunity to start. Um, when he, since he's come on, he's done really well in that position in the midfield. And I think it's easy to see why Liverpool paid 30 to 48 to 40 million for 40 million pounds for him. Um, I think it's probably the ideal for Gravenberch and it's also ideal for Curtis Jones as well because 
Curtis Jones didn't play. Was I think Klopp has had a big, has shown a big leap in faith in Curtis Jones the last few months. Maybe because he's doing really well in training or what have you. But I think probably starting Gravenberg ahead of Jones for this picture probably gives Curtis Jones the kick up the backside he really needs going forward so that he can fight for that spot as well. McAllister didn't play the other night. Sabasai didn't play the other night. So they should be okay for this game. Um, front three, Salah right wing. Hopefully he gets his 200 goal for Liverpool. It'd be massive if he can do that and pull that off so he can get that out of the way and concentrate on football for the next few months. Um, Cody Gakbo as a number nine, a false nine. And I've gone for a left wing, I've gone for Luis Diaz as well. Uh, Nunes, I know he's not, I didn't pick him for my start 11 prediction, but he probably will feature at some point. And he knows that as well, you know. Um, he came on the other night and played against last. He probably could have scored from that chance that was well saved from the goalkeeper. But I think he will get chances whether, be come, whether, whether he does start or whether he comes off the bench and makes an impact. You know, um, Gakbo, the reason why I'm starting Gakbo ahead of him is because he was the man of the match the night and he scored his two goals. And I think he will, um, I think he will start in this fixture against Fulham. Luis Diaz, the reason why I think he starts in this one is because he played for 54 minutes. So obviously that gives you an indication that he was definitely going to be start. he's probably going to be starting this game too. Now, as I said on the bench, Nunes will probably feature off the bench. So will the likes of Elliot, so will the likes of Jones, so will the likes of Endo. And in defence of the point of view, maybe the likes of a Canate, a Joe Gomez, or possibly even a Joel Quanser. You know, I, I think we might, and hopefully we might see the likes of maybe Conor Bradley, who's just come back from a long-term injury. And also big up to him well, as well for signing a long-term contract with Liverpool. Uh, there's a lot of high hopes for the Northern Irishman, so... He's had a lot of caps. I think he has 20 caps for Northern Ireland, which is massive for his age. And he's, he was Bolton's player of the year last year on, when he was out on loan. Bolton's player of the year, Bolton's young player. And I think he was their fans player of the year as well. So even though he was performing in League One, I think it was very vital for him to get that kind of... Because I think he was 19 when he went on loan to Bolton, to get that experience so he can have those 50-plus games of playing proper men's football. And he's well shot and... When he came on the other night for his cameo appearance, he looked really good. You know, Liverpool have high hopes for him as well. So uh, that's all good to see. That's all good to see too. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that was it, guys. Uh, that was just the start 11 and the preview just done. Um, I'll be doing a post-match reaction video tomorrow after the game just to talk about it. Hopefully it's three points. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please like the video if this is your first time watching this. Please sub hit the subscribe button if you have before. If you haven't before, should I say, please do be a massive help. I'm trying to grow this channel as much as I can. And uh, obviously in the new year, I'll continue to do this and probably put more advanced ways into it as well, which I'm look which I'm looking forward to doing. Um so uh yeah, and also click on the notifications about the videos I'll be doing going forward. And also let us know in the comment section down below how you think the start level should be and your score predictions as well, which would be a big help. It'd be a massive help if you could put them in there. Cheers. And also as well, if you're a Liverpool fan watching this, um, and you know play, and you know other mates of yours that watch this, please get them to follow my channel. I try to do this every day or as most days during the week as I can. Obviously, I love the club, and obviously, since I've, I've done this since August now, so I'm trying to grow this channel. I, I might, it might be, I might, okay, it might take, I'm, it's taking time at the minute, but um, because I haven't I have other things to do. You know, I have to work like everybody else does. So, um, I'm trying to grow this channel as much as I can, so they can kind of get more of a following going, and uh, I can push towards bigger and better things going forward in the new year. So, uh, yeah, it'd be a massive help if you can do that. So, um, I hope you uh, like the video too that I just did as well. So, in the meantime and between time, have a good day, have a good weekend wherever you're there. I'll chat to you tomorrow. Cheers, all the best.